We're living longer than we did 100 years ago because of advances in medical science as well as better nutrition, sanitation, and hygiene. Just over 100 years ago, the life expectancy at birth of a man was 49 years and while for women it was 54 years. Fast forward from 1915 to 2015, the average life expectancy of man has increased by 31 years, while for women it has increased by 29 years. Wow, what a great improvement. The top causes of death at the beginning of 20th century were very different than what we see today. In 1915, people were dying in large numbers due to infections. But by 2015, the number, the causes of death have changed to cancer, heart conditions, or external causes such as drug abuse, self-harm, etc. Now let's deep dive and see what caused the change in the type of illnesses and deaths in the last 100 years among male and female both. Now between 1915 and 1945, infections were the major causes of death between young and middle-aged male and female both. And for children between the age of one and four, infections remained the major causes of death up till 2005. There was a dramatic decrease in the number of people dying from infections in the 20th centuries. Diseases like poliomyelitis, diphtheria, whooping cough, measles, mumps, rubella were all virtually wiped out up till the middle of the 20th century after immunization was introduced among children. Then motor vehicle incidents became the leading cause of death among both male and female in 1945. The number of road deaths of young people may be attributable to the existence of the blackout during World War II, when vehicles drove in total darkness. This trend continued until 1985, where the percentage of deaths to motor vehicle accidents began decreasing, perhaps due to the introduction of the compulsory seatbelts in 1983. From 1985 onwards, the leading cause of death for young people was primarily due to external factors such as suicide, self-harm, and drug abuse which was commonly seen more in male than female. Meanwhile, heart conditions was the leading cause of death for middle to older aged males. The similar trend was also seen in females, but more towards when they were older, in the older age uh, range. While more middle aged females died due to breast cancer. On the bright side, over the last 100 years, not only have the causes of death changed over time, so have the number of people dying, which has considerably reduced. Now in the 21st century, which we are living in, you'll see a stark difference in the causes of death. Now it's leaning more towards heart conditions, cancer, and external factors such as suicide, self-harm, and mental illness, which we need to worry about. So, so we just talked about how the pattern of illness has had changed over the last 100 years and how it changed from just mere infections to major diseases now like cancer or major heart conditions or mental illness. Oops, sorry for calling the infections just mere. They can develop into something major complication if not treated in time. Now the next thing that comes to your mind is what do you do to prevent this kind of illness and lead a happy and healthy life? What do you do to prevent, uh, prevent major illnesses that can come in the coming years. So stay tuned for the next section of my video. Thanks.